maybe this is the month it's gonna happen even though it's already halfway through the month. Hello everybody, it's your girl Jay and today I am here with my September TBR. Is it already September 19th? Yes it is. Am I still filming my September TBR now? Yes, I am. If you are new to this channel, then you don't know this, but my mom actually picks my TBR and she always has a fun little theme to go along with the books that she chose. This month's theme is fire. And you have to say it like that, fire. So without further ado, let us get started. So I put together like a little story based off of the books that she chose. So to start the story off, we are in a lovely forest. It is very cold and so you decide to start a fire. The first book that she chose is Sea Fire by Natalie C. Parker. All I know about this one is that it features a cast of female pirates who are trying to defeat a warlord who killed their captain's parents. That's all I really know. I believe it's a trilogy, but this is the first book. It came out many, many years ago, so I'm very late to the party, but I found this in my local Dollar Tree for $1.50, so I snatched it up. Moving on in the story, to make a fire, you need wood. So the book that goes along with that is Witchwood by Tahara Mafi. This is another one that has been on my TBR for so, so long, and I just have never picked it up. I've had furthermore on my shelf for years and same with this one. I also just think that the cover is so cool. It's kind of opposite of fire because it looks very frosty but you need wood for fire so we're going with it. So eventually once you gather all your wood you will be able to make a flame. So the next book is Flame in the Mist by Renee Adahe. This is another one that came out on booktube and was super super popular and I bought it and then have never picked it up. This follows a girl who is the only daughter of a prominent samurai and she's not Known for her entire life that the whole reason she is in existence is to marry. So she gets shipped off to marry some man that she's never met before but along the way while they are traveling to this man her cart gets attacked by the Black Clan and everybody dies but this girl and so she decides that she's going to get revenge and so she disguises herself as a boy and infiltrates the Black Clan but she quickly realizes that this is the only place where she has been valued for her intellect and her cunning abilities. She kind of likes it there and then she falls in love. But again, super popular on booktube, just never picked it up. I really do need to. But maybe this is the month it's gonna happen even though it's already halfway through the month. So once you have your flame, you can look at it. It's very bright. It's burning hot. So the book that goes along with that part of the story is A Shadow So Bright and Burning by Jessica Clueless. All I really know about this is that it follows Henrietta, who is the first female sorceress in a very long time. She expects to be executed because of this, but she is invited to train her magic and she is deemed the chosen one who is supposed to destroy all these demons and it's like the story of that. I have seen a lot of people haul this but not talk about it and this is another one that was written in like 2015 or something, so a very long time ago. And I've yet to figure out so. that you have your bright and burning flame. It has turned into a full-blown fire, so trial by fire by Josephine Angelini. This is another one. Has been on my TBR 60 times and I still have not read it. I really should just pick up the audiobook or something because that's usually how I get myself to read books that have been on my TBR forever. This follows a girl named Lily who has life-threatening allergies in the real world. She gets transported to this other world where she meets herself and she's like a badass. But I believe this is another one that's like a whole trilogy, but... I have not read it. It says, how can she be the savior of this world when she's literally her own worst enemy? And then once you are done with your fire, you put it out and that creates Smoke. So Lady Smoke by Laura Sebastian. This is the second book to Ash Princess. I read Ash Princess back in, I want to say like 2017. So it has been a while. Do I remember anything that happened in that book? No, no, I don't. But I know I gave it a 3.5. Could reread it. Am I going to do that? Probably not. I'll probably just go look on my Goodreads to see what the book is about. Other than that, I can't tell you much about this because I don't know what the first book's about. Well prepared for this video. And then once your smoke has all dissipated, you are left with ashes. So we have Snow Like Ashes by Sarah Rash. This is another one. Been on my TBR 20,000 times. 
still have not picked it up. This follows a kingdom that 16 years ago was defeated and so they lost all their magic and they've been just waiting to earn their magic back. There's a locket or something that is magical and an orphan decides that she is going to go find this locket and unleash the magic. But obviously things don't go as planned and this orphan finds herself thrust into a world of evil magic. It sounds fun. This is another trilogy that I, I think I have the first two books. We're gonna see how we like it hopefully this month. Is that gonna be the case? We will see. Like I said, it's already September 19th, so we never really know. All right, everybody. So that was my TBR for September 2022. It is already September 19th and I have not read a single one of these books, so will any of them be done? I don't know. We'll have to see. But let me know down below if you have read any of these books and what you thought of them, and I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye!